Hey everybody. Hi. I'm Doug. I'm Kelly. And uh, I guess you're going to get to know us as Oak and Hazel. <laughs> um, what we've done is we decided to open up this YouTube channel as well as an Instagram page uh, just to kind of document what the next five years and beyond is going to be for us. Um, inspired by a lot of different events that have happened and things that we've been thinking about over the past several years. Um, the pandemic was definitely something that definitely affected our decision, but this is something we were thinking about prior to this. Um, and it's our, our ongoing goal on working towards um, self-sufficiency, self-reliance, and, and hopefully being off-grid, right? And it's also teaching our children about being one with nature and utilizing what nature has to offer and you know, being able to also be self-sustaining, self-reliant, and uh, hopefully they, you know, come to love the outdoors as much as we do and, you know, love what we're doing just as much. Exactly. We we spend our weekends going out day camping in the bush with our, our bush shelter. If you can see, there it is back there that my friend Chris and I built and we've been progressively adding to and increasing and we bring the kids with us. Um, it's also, uh, a lot of people that we've spoken to have been like, well, what are you running away from? And it's not so much running away from, more running to. Like we said, the self-reliance goes a long way. And there's a lot of things and a lot of people that are taxing our current system that uh, if we can do our part to just try and be, be homesteaders and be as self-sufficient as possible, then we're not adding to, to a system that's already overworked and overtaxed, um, that we can be a part of a community of, of off-gridders and, and self, self-sufficient self individuals that uh, believe in doing this and believe in teaching their children and getting back to something something simple. Do we really need to be running around, uh, you know, on technology? Do our children need to be doing, you know, playing with iPads and stuff like that? We don't feel that they do. We don't feel that um, we need to to have our children doing that. We homeschool our son and he is bright and creative and inquisitive. We, we want that in an environment that is, is clean and that um, we can teach our children to respect, right? It's, uh, we're not running away from something, we're running to, we're running to life, we're running to, to embrace our beliefs, to embrace the things that we hold dear in a world that ever so quickly drops beliefs for a trend, right? So, we're hoping that you'll continue to follow us. Yeah, and we're not asking everybody to to agree or love no. what we're doing, but hopefully um, you can enjoy uh, our our journey and our adventures. And even if uh, you don't think it's something for you, uh, we just hope maybe it's something you'll think about and consider for the the greater of the earth and the environment and, Absolutely. and our health, really. Yeah. Yeah, why not live clean, right? And like we said, like Kelly said, we're not asking you to, to believe the same thing we do. Um, just respect our choices and maybe follow along and live vicariously through a, a crazy family willing to give it a go. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for following and uh, hopefully you guys will hit that subscribe button and follow us and we'll be presenting a bunch of different stuff as we go from bushcrafting to handicrafts to little stories about our lives and document everything that we can. So take care and, and stay safe and stay healthy, guys. Thank you. Thanks.